so Cornell was a great test. Is this on? Can you hear me? Yeah. So Cornell was a great test for us. Um, you know, it's always really good to play an Ivy League opponent. They're just, they have a lot of discipline. They're well coached. They, you know, it, they have to be very, you know, specific with what they do because they have limited time um, in terms of practices. So it, they're always a great opponent, and they certainly showed it tonight. Um, they played hard for the whole game, never let up. Um, so I think Cornell's a really good team. I'm sure they'll have a lot of success this year in the Ivy League. Um, but, you know, good win for us. It's always nice to win. And um, I think we played really well in two quarters. Didn't play great in the other two, but, um, you know, I thought we played awesome for two quarters. Um, you know, an offense was able to play well, even without Meg Carney, who was unavailable tonight. But um, overall, just a good win. Especially like Emma Ward, she is so good at seeing the field from behind the cage. So kind of just being in the middle of the eight, trying to work to keep defenders either holding on to me or working off me to help also the other Emma get the ball in the middle as well. Um, so I guess with those two, just kind of making those connections with Wardo and seeing her behind the cage. Uh, Megan, how does it feel to be able to connect with your sister out there? You had a bunch of goals um, you now assisting your sister. How does that feel? I mean, it's awesome. It's just the chemistry that we've had for so long now it's just like kind of really shining through um, especially for her she's doing so great especially this season coming back from injury so I couldn't be more proud of her. Uh, Delaney uh, you do a great job of clearing the ball from the fielders uh, down the field kind of get the ball rolling on offense. Can you talk about your relationship with her with that and how you get the ball moving? Yeah um, we have really fast midfielders so they're able to get up up the field very quickly so I'm always trying to look um, for them as the first outlet, and I know they'll catch it even when I throw a bad pass, um, uh, which is always something I'm not trying to do, but it happens sometimes. <laughs> and uh, for Megan, you know, Emma had that really nice kind of behind the back goal on the feed for you. You know, obviously you guys have been playing together a long time. Is that something that she practices, or did that just kind of come to her at the moment? I'm pretty sure she works on it. <laughs> 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 Sorry, no, she definitely, she definitely does work on it. She likes to kind of throw funny shots like that sometimes, so, yeah. Uh, Delaney, 13 saves today. Just how well were you seeing uh, Cornell's shots, and how well were you, how were you able to accumulate so many saves today? Um, I just think throughout the game, like, we've been talking about mindset, and that's something that I've really been working on, so staying neutral and just being ready, and I felt very prepared coming into this game and just knowing that the defensive front of me is going to do whatever they can to stop the ball. So, I don't know, I just feel very confident in them and myself, and I think we have a lot of trust across the field, which just allows me to have some success. Uh, Megan, when you have one-on-one -on -one with the defender, how do you make that decision to take yourself or the pass? Um, I kind of just read what the defender's doing. You know, if there's a slide coming, that might change whether I'm going to keep going or look for the feed. So kind of just reading what they're doing. Just for both players, just how exciting was it to see Katie Goodell on the other end scoring that goal? I looked over instantly. I just see Coach jumping up and down, everyone screaming. Was that planned or, like, what was the situation with that? Um, yeah, you know, we always encourage, like, especially off the draw, if we can push it to net. Um, Obviously, whoever's up there, go. So Katie like felt that confidence, and she kept going up the field. And you know, obviously, she finished. And it's just such a huge momentum shift for us. It gives everyone the energy from on the field to the sideline. So that was just such a cool moment for her and for us. Yeah, no, just I agree with everything Meg said, and just everyone on our team's a threat. So watch out. <laughs> KG, KG's gonna score another. <laughs> watch out for me. <laughs> Yeah, okay, but. 
coach, you kind of put the starters back in there towards the very end as Cornell made a run. Was there a number where you would put maybe the entire unit back out there? Well, we just put Sierra and Nat on the draw. I mean, that was really all we did. And, um, you know, just because we wanted to win a draw control, we knew if we had the ball, we'd be all right. So it was really just a decision at the end just to try to win that draw control. What was the halftime conversation like after, you know, a series of cause turnovers and Cornell getting on the board? What was kind of the message coming out of halftime and trying to propel over them again? Well, you know, I thought Cornell did a really good job tonight. I mean, I think at halftime we were frustrated with our second quarter. Um, I know we went into it, thought we lost it, but it looks like we tied in that quarter. So just a little frustrated with sloppy decisions. You know, we could definitely, we knew we could play better. So we just, you know, encouraged them that we need to grow in this game. And, you know, I think the players responded really well and we had a great third quarter. Uh, Coach, your team leads the nation in assists, but today the most consistent goals in the game all season. Is there a reason for that, or uh, today was the? What'd you say? Sorry. Today you had the most unassisted goals in the game all oh. season. So, what do you think may have been the reason for that? Um, I'm not really sure. I mean, four of us. Um, you know, still nine assisted out of 19. So, you know, um. I thought that was good. I mean, the players feel confident. They think they can beat their matchups, which is awesome. We want to show that we can play that way as well. Um, you know, and, and still, I mean, I even think sometimes they were a little too unselfish. You know, we were talking to some players about you need to shoot that or a couple times on eight meters just making a pass that I really thought they should have shot. So, uh, you know, they're just an unselfish group, but they've got to be ready to, you know, shoot it when they, when they can and they have the opportunity. Coach, you guys have so much firepower on offense, even without Megan Carney today. Can you talk about the team's ability to step up when needed to? Yeah, I thought the offense played pretty well tonight. I mean, I think we have to do some things to, you know, play a little bit more simple, and we've talked about those, what those things are. But, um, you know, I thought Megan Tyrell was awesome tonight for us, and we really needed her to step up and play big. And, you know, when we really needed it is when she stepped up, which was awesome to see. Because um, she's kind of taken a little bit of a backseat just because we have such a, like you said, firepower on offense. And we definitely needed her tonight, and I thought she stepped up and did a nice job. Um, and, you know, you got Cornell went on quite a scoring run in that fourth quarter. I was wondering, what did you see uh, differently from a defensive perspective in that quarter? Um, well, I'll own that as a coach. I mean, I think, you know, we obviously – we're able to, which is great, play a lot of people tonight. Um, you know, I think as a as a coaching perspective, we just have to get them a little bit more prepared um, for games. Coach, you mentioned before about Megan Carney not being there. Is there any update on her? No, I have no update. Um, so Emma Tyrell has been on fire lately. She's had a hat trick by the half, I believe, in the last two games. Uh, what's really clicking for her from your point of view? Mm -hmm. Yeah, ever since I think the Duke game, she's really taken it to another level. And, um, you know, for her, she's just getting a little better every game. And, I, you know, I thought she's – I think she's been phenomenal. I mean, when and she, when she's shooting well, she's pretty unstoppable. So, um, you know, I thought she, again, had a really nice game tonight. How do you feel in terms of the draw this game, with Olivia Adamson taking the majority and then having Maddie Baxter go in and then – um, another person out of the draw. So comfortability and just seeing, you know, Olivia's uh, progress through this week. Yeah, I don't think we did great on the draw tonight. Um, I thought that was an area that we struggled in. Um, and, I, and I think they've been doing a great job. It's just, you know, it's a newer unit and they're working on developing chemistry. I mean, this, with Olivia at the draw, I, mean, I think maybe this is like her fourth game. So... You know, it's a it's a new unit, and we're just trying to get them a little better every game, um, which is great. We were tested tonight, and there's a lot to learn from. So, um, you know, that's just what we have to do, learn from it and move forward.